Nuclear fusion is the process of merging two atoms in order to generate a heavier core, which in turn releases a large amount of energy. This form of energy is identical to the form of energy that fuels the Sun and all the other stars in the universe. Nuclear fusion has been praised as the holy cradle of energy production for a very long time. This is because of the fact that it has the ability to generate electricity that is clean, safe and nearly infinite. It would be able to satisfy the energy needs of the entire world. But how exactly does nuclear fusion operate? And is it truly an attractive source of energy to use in the future? From mind-bending series to mind-blowing discoveries. Join us as we explore the cutting edge of science and push the boundaries of our understanding. Ah, nuclear fusion. The ultimate power couple. It's like a scientific love story where two atomic cores come together in a hot and steamy environment. It's basically the atomic version of The Bachelor, except instead of roses, they exchange energy. The hydrogen isotopes deuterium and tritium are like the atomic version of Brad and Angelina. They may have some natural repulsion, but when they are get together, they create something bigger and better. And just like Brad and Angelina, when they split, they release a lot of energy. Speaking of energy, let's talk about that famous equation E equals mc squared. It's like the atomic versions of more money, more problems. Sure, you get a lot of energy from a small amount of mass, but then you have to deal with all the consequences. It's like ordering a large pizza and then realizing you have to deal with all the leftovers for the next week. But let's not forget about those high energy photons. That's like the paparazzi of the atomic world, always trying to capture the best shots. And just like the paparazzi, science itself to figure out how to deal with them. They might not be selling them to aploids, but they are trying to turn them into electricity using various techniques. All in all, nuclear fusion is like the ultimate Hollywood love story. It's hot, it's steamy and it creates a lot of energy. Who needs Brad and Angelina when you have deuterium and tritium? So, you know how it's hard to always keep the flame burning in a relationship. Well, that's kind of like a problem with nuclear fusion. Even though we understand the fundamental ideas behind it, it's tough to keep the reaction going for extended periods of time. It's like trying to keep a candle lit during a hurricane. Not impossible, but definitely a challenge. In order to make fusion happen, scientists need to bring nuclei together in a cosy embrace. The problem is, those nuclei have a bit of an electrical repulsion going on. Like a couple that just can't seem to get along. To make matters worse, they need to be super hot, we are talking temperatures hotter than the center of the sun. It's like trying to keep a flame going in a sauna. But don't worry, scientists have a plan. They have built a machine called fusion reactor and it's like the world's most complicated love nest. It uses strong magnetic fields to contain and heat up a plasma of hydrogen to the required temperature. It's like a fancy hot tub, but instead of jets, you've got magnetic fields. The ITER project is like the ultimate matchmaker. It's an international corporation that's aiming to create the world's biggest fusion reactor in the south of France. It's like the Bachelor, but instead of roses, they are heading out nuclear particles. And they are pursuing the most promising approach to nuclear fusion that is currently available. It's like the final rose ceremony, but for science. So, if you are looking for some steamy science action, look no further than the world of nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion has the potential to advance the way we create energy by offering a source of electricity that is clean, safe and nearly infinite. Even while there are still many obstacles to conquer, the progress that is being made in fusion research is promising and it's possible that we may see fusion power plants in operation in not too distant future. At first, we looked at behind the science of nuclear fusion and how it has the potential to change the way energy is generated. However, just like any other technological advancement, there are benefits and drawbacks linked to nuclear fusion. Now, we will take a more in-depth look at these benefits and drawbacks of this potentially game-changing technology. The process of nuclear fusion does not result in the release of any greenhouse gases. Therefore, it is considered to be a clean source of energy. This is one of the most significant advantages of nuclear fusion. On the other hand, nuclear fusion does not result in the production of any long-lived radioactive waste, in contrast to nuclear fission, which generates radioactive waste that can stay hazardous 
for thousands of years. The fuel for nuclear fusion is also easily accessible, as deuterium can be found in seawater and tritium is produced from lithium, an element that is rather common. Another benefit of nuclear fusion is that it has a high energy density, which indicates that it is capable of producing a far higher amount of usable energy than other energy sources, such as nuclear fission or fossil fuels. This suggests that nuclear fusion has the potential to supply the energy demands of all humanity with a very small amount of fuel. Therefore, minimizing the dependence on resources that do not replenish themselves. I hope you are enjoying this video so far. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, so you never miss out on a new one. The process of nuclear fusion presents a number of substantial difficulties and risks, in spite of the fact that it may have a great deal of potential advantageous effects. One of the biggest challenges in nuclear fusion is the cost. It's enough to make even the wealthiest oil tycoon flinch. Not to mention, building and running a fusion reactor is like trying to wrangle a herd of wild unicorns. You never know what kind of trouble they will get into. And let not forget about the risk involved. The materials used in the reactor have to be able to withstand temperatures hotter than a dragon's breath. And the reactor itself has to be designed with the precision of a Swiss watch. One wrong move and it could be bye bye to the whole city. Speaking of which, there's also the issue of nuclear weapon proliferation. It's like trying to keep a pack of rabbit wolves away from a juicy steak. The same fuel used in fusion and reactors can also be used to make nuclear weapons. So it's essential to have strict controls and safeguards in place to prevent any rogue actors from getting their hands on it. But on the bright side, nuclear fusion has the potential to be a game changer in the world of energy. It's like having a limitless supply of donuts. Once you figure out how to make them, you can have as many as you want. Of course, we need to make sure we are pursuing this technology in a responsible and sustainable way, so that we don't end up with a world that is more dystopian than the plot of a bad sci-fi movie. All in all, nuclear fusion is like the rebellious teenager in the energy world. It's got a lot of potential but it needs a lot of guidance and supervision to reach its full potential without causing too much chaos. If this was interesting to you, your next video should be this one. Thank you for watching and keep exploring.